Can I start? أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم صل على محمد وعلى محمد سورة الصف بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سبح لله ما في السماوات وما في الأرض وهو العزيز الحكيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا لما تقولون ما لا تفعلون كبور مقتا عند الله أن تقول ما لا تفعلون إن الله يحب الذين يقاتلون في سبيله صفا كأنهم بنيان مرسوس وإن قال موسى لقومه يا قومي لما تؤذونني وقد تعلمون أني رسول الله إليكم فلما زاغوا وزاغ الله قلوبهم والله لا يهدي القوم الفاسقين وإذ قال عيسى بن مريم يا بني إسرائيل إني رسول الله إليكم مصدقا لما بين يدي إليكم مصنقا لما بين يدي من التوراة ومبشرا برسول يأتي من بعد من بعد اسمه أحمد فلما جاءهم بالبينات قالوا هذا سحر مبين ومن أظلم ممن افترى على الله الكذب وهو يدعى إلى الإسلام والله لا يهدي القوم الظالمين ويريد أن ليطفئ نور الله بأفواههم والله متم نوره ولو كره الكافرون هو الذي أرسل رسوله بالهدى ودين الحق ليظهره على الدين كله ولو كره ولو كره المشركون يا أيها الذين آمنوا هل أدلكم على تجارة تنجيكم من عذاب أليم تؤمنون بالله ورسوله وتجاهدون في سبيل الله بأموالكم وأنفسكم ذلكم خير لكم إن كنتم تعلمون يغفر لكم ذنوبكم ويدخلكم جنات تجري من تحتها الأنهار ومساكين طيبة في جنات عدن ذلك الفوز العظيم وخرى تحبونها نصر من الله وفتح قريب فبشر المؤمنين يا أيها الذين آمنوا كونوا أنصار الله كما قال عيسى بن مريم قال عيسى بن مريم للحوارين من أنصار إلى الله قال الحواريون نحن أنصار الله فمن طائفة من بني إسرائيل من بني إسرائيل وكفر الطائفة فأيدنا الذين آمنوا على عدوهم فأسمحوا ظاهرين صدق الله العلي العظيم اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد Rabbi, Kiyah, Usain, Rabbi, Kiyah, Usain, Aachin, 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 Aach
Es tiene Mustafa pe aur cheez e fida e Zahra pe Murtaza pe Zahra pe Murtaza pe la pe ke ya Hussein la pe ke ya Hussein ber so sabr raha hai Es kaum ka na ho par pa makar Hussein ka ma tam e khub ho ma tam e khub ho la pe ke ya usain la pe ke ya usain behn jure hui hai sheet ki karbala se se kaal khuda ke paak se aur kaal mustafa se aur kaal mustafa se la pe ke ya usain la pe ke ya usain naam ali ke dood mein maani pe la diya कौन पानी ये हुसैन का मकसद बसा दिया मकसद से बसा दिया लबे के या हुसैन लबे के या उसे जितना भी असर बने ए वक्त का यजीद मजल से पापा करेंगे हम हर दौर में मजीद हर दौर में मजीद लबे ke ya usain labbe ke ya usain labbe ke ya usain labbe ke ya usain allahumma salli ala muhammad wa ali muhammad Thank you, Ali. We will now recite, uh, we will now welcome Mulana Sayyid Aqil Shah with three loud salawat. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala. Allah. أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان اللئيم الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم حسبنا الله نعم الوكيل نعم المولى ونعم النصير الحمد لله رب العالمين الصلاة والسلام وتهية والإكرام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين حبيب إله العالمين سيدنا ونبينا وحبيب قلوبنا وتبيب نفوسنا وشفيع زنوبنا ومولانا مولا ثقلين جد الحسن والحسين الذي سمي في السماء بأحمد وفي الأرضين بأب القاسم محمد اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد وعلى أهل بيته تيبين تاهرين المعصومين ولعنة الدائمة على عدائهم ومنكري فضائلهم وغاسبي حقوقهم من الآن إلى قيام يوم الدين أما بعد قال الإمام علي النكي الهادي عليه الصلاة والسلام بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم من أتى الخالق لم يبال بسخط المخلوق صدق مولانا ومقتدانا الإمام علي النكي الهادي عليه الصلاة والسلام صلوات اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد أظم الله وجورنا وجوركم بمصابنا بإمام علي النكي الهادي عليه الصلاة والسلام I offer condolences to all of you to the Imam of our time, Imam al-Hujj alayhi salam 
to Maraja Azam, Ulama Alam, Mominin and Momina, those who are listening to this Majlis. Condolences on the martyrdom, Shahadat anniversary of our 10th Imam, Imam Ali al Naki, alayhi salatu wa salam. Respected listeners, my respected brothers and sisters, we are commemorating the Majlis Shahadat of Imam alayhi salam. In the beginning, I would like to mention something which is about the holy month of Rajab, importance and significance of the holy month of Rajab. And then in the second part of our Majlis, we will talk about the life of our tenth Imam. As far as the month of Rajab is concerned, in the Islamic calendar, the holy month of Rajab has a very high significance. It's very important month. Quran says that there are four months in the Islamic calendar, which are the sacred months. Ashurul Hurum. Among these, the first one is Rajab. The second is Zul Ka'da. The third is Zul Hijjah. And the fourth sacred month is Muharram al Haram. Islam also says that if you are at war, stop war battles during these four months. It is haram to do and enter into war in these four months. Sheikh Abbas Kumi Rahmatullah Alayhi Sahib Mafatihul Jinan, when he uh, wants to talk about and he wants to write about the importance of the different months in the Islamic calendar, in Mafatihul Jinan, he starts with the A'mal of the month of Rajab. This month is called Rajabul Asab. Asab means to pour. When you pour something, this is called Asab. Why this month is called Rajabul Asab? Because the mercy and rahmat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala pours on everybody. The example is the example of rain. The water pours from the sky, from the heavens, on everything. The water comes down from the sky, on the land, on the houses, on the streets, on the people, animals, plants, trees. Everyone gets the mercy and rahmat in the shape of rain, in the shape of water from sky. Because this is the mercy of Allah. So the month is called Rajab al Asab, that is the month of abundant mercy, where Rahmat and mercy pours on the people. So we should take advantage of this month and the days and the nights which are in this month. Tonight is the third night of this holy month. And this night is the night of Shahada, martyrdom. Of 10th Imam alayhi salam. Before I say something about this great Imam and his services towards Islam, let me give you a reminder. This is a very important reminder for myself and then for all of you. And that is the coming Thursday is called Laylatul Raghaib. Raghaib is from Raghba. Raghba means hope, desire. The night of desires, the night of hopes. We have hopes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We hope that Allah forgave our sins. We hope that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us place in Jannah. We hope that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq to do good deeds. So this is the night of raghba, the night of hopes and desires. This is one of the most important night in the Islamic calendar. Coming Thursday, the first Laylatul Jum'ah, the Thursday night, the night of the Friday, when the day of Thursday passes, this is called Laylatul Raghaib. In this night, there are some A'mal. Let me mention very quickly. You can go and see Mafatih al-Jinan 
and Viharul Anwar for details. But here in Laylatul Raqa'ib, the first important amal is to fast. Fasting is, uh, is very and highly recommended in the month of Ramadan. It is wajib. In other months, it is mustahab, recommended that one should fast. And if a person fasts in the month of Rajab, he gets many fold of rewards from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. One of the a'mal of this holy month of Rajab is to fast. Whatever tawfiq is, one day, five days a week, full month, which is very good. But for Laylatul Raqa'ib, you have to fast on Thursday. The second is, when you break your fast between Maghrib and Isha, there is Salah 12 Raqa, two units. 12 units of Salat, which is the Salat of Laylatul Raqa'ib, which is prayed in the sets of two units, two Raqa'a. Total 12 Raqa'a, 12 units. It is like Salatul Fajr. And after you finish this Salah, the method is a little bit different from Salatul Fajr, but if you can't follow the full method, then you can just pray it like Salatul Fajr. But the method of the Salah is that in each Raqqa, after reciting Surah Al-Fatiha, you recite three times Surah Al-Qadr, Inna Anzalnahu Fi Laylat Al-Qadr. And then after recitation of Al-Qadr, you recite 12 times Surah Al-Ikhlas, Kul Huwa Allahu Ahad. And then you do your Ruku and to Sajda and then you uh, stand for the second raka in the same way after Surah Al-Fatiha once, three times Al-Qadr and twelve times Kul Huwa Allahu Ahad. If you think it is hard for you, then just recite once Fatiha, once Al-Qadr and once Al-Ikhlas. In this, when you finish the twelve raka, then there are some recitations which are highly recommended. And these recitation is that you have to say 70 times Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Ali. 70 times. Then you perform sajda. You put your forehead on the turba and then you recite 70 times Subuhun Qudusun Rabbul Malaikati wa Ruh. And then you raise your head and then you say 70 times Rabbi Khfir Warham wa Tajawaz Amma. Then again, go into sajda and recite seven times the same uh, which you recited before. Subuhun, Qudusun, Rabul Malaikati wa Ruh. And in the sajda, ask your hajat. Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala whatever hajat you have, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will fulfill your hajat. The Holy Prophet is reported to have said, whoever performs this Salah, he has two big rewards from Allah. Number one, his sins are forgiven. His past sins are forgiven by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the second reward is, in the first night of the grave, which is the night of horror, and people are recommended to pray, Salatul Wahshatul Kabar for the Marhum, a handsome person will appear in your grave and he will tell you that I am here to help you. You are alone. I am here to be with you. The person will ask him, who are you? That person the, will reply that I am the reward of your Salatul Raqa'ib, which you prayed in such a such year, such a such month, such a such date. I came here with the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help you and to reward you for your a'mal. Reward you for what you did for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the month of Rajab al Murajab, Rajab al Asab. So, brothers and sisters, take this opportunity. We are alive, we are healthy. Let's 
spend this month of Rajab in worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in increasing our knowledge, increasing our Iman and Taqwa and also to do something good for our Akhirah. Sallu ala Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. Regarding the life of Imam Ali al-Naki alayhi salam, I recited one hadith from this great and holy Imam. This is from Bihar al-Anwar of Alama Majlisi, volume number 75 and page number is 366. Ruya anil Imam Ali al-Hadi alayhi salam. It is narrated, reported that the 10th Imam alayhi salam, Imam Hadi alayhi salam, he said, Man ata al khalik lam yubalu bi al makhluk. The one who obeys the Creator, <coughs> the one who obeys Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Creator, does not have to worry about the anger of the created makhluk. If you have obeyed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then don't worry about the people. Just obey the Creator. And if the people are not happy with you, just ignore them. Make Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala happy and pleased from you. Imam alayhi salam, his two titles are very famous. One is Naqi, which means the pure. And then there is Al-Hadi, the guide. Imam Al salam is pure and he is Hadi. He is guide. He guides the people. His kunya was Abu Hassan Athalis, Abu Hassan the third. Because in Riwayah, it says that Imam al kazim alayhi salam was Abu Hassan al awwal the first Abu Hassan. Imam al Raza alayhi salam is Abu Hassan al Thani, the second Abu Hassan. And the third Abu Hassan among the list of Ma'asumin Aim alayhi salam is Imam Ali Naki alayhi salam, Abu Hassan al Thalith. His mother was Sumana Maghribiya from North Africa. A very pious lady and Imam al -Salam was born on 15th of Zul Hijjah the year was 212 after Hijrah the date was 2nd Rajab 2nd Rajab 212 today was 2nd Rajab and we have entered into the night of the 3rd Rajab so Imam alayhi salam, this is one report says he was born on 15 Zul Hijjah 212. Another report says that Imam alayhi salam was born on the 2nd Rajab 212. But the date of Shahada, there is no difference of opinion among historians about his date of Shahada. There is difference of opinion about when he was born. There are two riwayat, two narrations. One riwayat says 15 Zul Hijjah. Here is same, 212. Another Raya says, second of Rajab. Today is the night of the third Rajab. And that is the night of Shahadat of Imam Ali Naki alayhi salam. Third Rajab, 254 after Hijra, Imam alayhi salam was martyred. So we are commemorating his Shahada tonight because tonight is the third night of Rajab. The age of Imam al -Salam was 42 years and the duration of his Imamat was 34 years. Imam al -Salam was or is from among those Aimma who got Imamat at the early age. We have three Imams who were given Imamat at a very early age. Number one, Imam al Jawad, Imam Muhammad Taki alayhi salam. He got Imamat when he was seven years old. Number two, 
Imam Ali Naki alayhi salam. He got imamat when he was eight years old. Number three, Imam al Hujja, Imam Mahdi ajalallahu ta'ala faraj wa sharif. He got imama when he was five years old. So some people doubt it. They say, how come a youth, a young person, a child can become an imam? Well, we gave answer to this question, but just very quickly, let me answer this question. Because so many people, especially those who are not the followers of Alul Bayt, they ask this question all the time. Many times they will ask the question, how come in a, a boy of seven years old can guide and can be an Imam? Well, answer is from the Holy Quran. Holy Quran says, Isa alayhi salam spoke in the cradle. Inni Abdullah atani al-kitab wa ja'alani nabiyya. When he was few hours old, he said, I'm the servant of Allah. He has given me a book and he has made me his prophet. The second example is the example of Hazrat Zakaria. Hazrat Zakaria was the father of Hazrat Yahya So both father and son, they were prophets. Now the example is the example of the son. Hazrat Yahya alayhi salatu wasalam, about which the Holy Quran says that we gave him hikmah when he was a child. We gave him hukum, we gave him this leadership, the prophethood, when he was a young boy and when he was a child. So prophethood is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Imamat is also from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Both these positions are given by Allah. Allah select the prophets. Allah selected the Imams. This is the department of Allah the Almighty to choose from among his servants, Anbiya, Rusul. Prophets, messengers. This is also the department of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to choose from among his servants, the leaders. Aimma, I am a give them ismat. Ismat means they are fallible, they, 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 they are infallible. They are infallible, they are ma'asum. So this isma and this quality is given to them by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Our aimma are ma'asumin alayhi salam. Ma'asum anil khata. They cannot make any error. They cannot make any mistake. So Imam alayhi salam got imamat when he was eight years old. And he was martyred in the year 254. He was poisoned by Mu'taz the Abbasid Caliph. So this is the brief uh, points about the Holy Imam alayhi salatu wa salam. Sallu ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad wa ajil farajah. Respected brothers and respected sisters and all those who are listening to me to this majlis. There are two documents, ziyarat, which we have from Imam Naki alayhi salam. Both these documents, these ziyarat, are very important. One is called ziyarat e jami e kabira, and another is ziyarat e ziyaratul ghadir. These two ziyarat has a lot of information. Number one, ziyarat e jami e kabira is about imamat. What is leadership? What is imamat? Now, this is something about which the, the Muslimin, the Muslims have difference of opinion. 
we the followers of al Bayt al muslim we believe that imamat is from usuluddin and imamat is from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he sent imams after the prophets to guide the community to guide the people to tell the people about the correct tafsir of the holy quran and about islam the correct definition of islam rules and regulations laws of islam imam will explain these laws especially when it comes to the sharia of the uh, islam of the holy prophet peace be upon him so this is the duty of imam salam to explain that so jamia kabira the ziyarat of imam salam is about imam it is a course of imam let me put it in the easy way you have recited the ziyarah called joshin kabir especially in the holy month of ramadan uh, it is highly recommended to recite ziyarat joshin kabir and on the nights of qadr uh, it is more and highly recommended and we do that what is dua joshin kabir Dua Joshan Kabir is the about the attributes of Allah, about Tawheed, oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And there are 1,000 attributes, sifat are mentioned in this Dua called Dua Joshan Kabir. How beautifully in this Dua the merits, attributes, sifat of Allah the Almighty subhanahu wa ta'ala are mentioned. Similarly, if you want to know about the merits of Imam, what is leadership? What is Imamat? Who is Imam? What is his duty? Then Ziyarat Jamia Kabira has explained this. That's why it is very important to read this Ziyarat Jamia Kabira. And it is mentioned in the books of Dua that you can recite this ziyara anywhere at the haram of any imam. I am alayhi salam and you go for ziyara, there are some ziyarat makhsusa, special ziyarat which are recited for uh, that imam in, in the haram. But this ziyara, jamia kabira, can be recited for every imam. Like if you want to go and do the ziyarat of imam, Rada alayhi salam, you can recite the ziyara there. You want to do the ziyarat of Amir al Mu'minin, you can recite there. Imam Hussain, yes. This shows who Imam are. Now, talking about Imama, before I say a few words about Ziyarat al Ghadir, which is another important ziyarat which we have. Now, both of these ziyarat are mentioned in uh, Bihar of Alama Majlisi and other books also, like Mazar. Is the book of dua it has this ziyarat talking about imamat and the attributes of imam which are mentioned in ziyarat jamia kabira is a full course of imam imam is someone who is the most knowledgeable of all in his time so it is mentioned that uh, when uh, Imam al was summoned from Medina to Samirra and 300 people went there with the order of uh, the Abbasid Caliph to bring Imam al from Medina to Samirra, which was a, a cantonment from Medina to Samirra, the cantonment, Askar. Imam al -Salam was told that we came here to take you with us. Imam al -Salam started packing his bags and the people who were with Imam al -Salam, his Ahlul Bayt, his friends and other people. The Ravi says that we saw Imam al -Salam was packing warm clothes while the weather was hot. So we thought why Imam is uh, taking with him the winter clothes and later on they said that when we reach 
at a point where we put our camps, all of a sudden the weather changed. The weather changed and cold winds started blowing. So Imam al was prepared for that. He put on his warm clothes. Others who were with Imam al they also put the warm clothes. And those who were making fun of Imam al that why he is packing the warm clothes with him, they, some of them died because of the cold weather. It is like here, a few days ago it was uh, minus 10, all of a sudden it went to minus 40. So weather changes, but Imam is knowledgeable. Imam has knowledge, he knows. And uh, those people who were making fun of Imam al-Islam, they died because of the cold winds. Another thing is about uh, a narration from Abu Hashim al-Ja'fari. He says, once I saw Imam al-Islam talking in Hindi, he said, I couldn't understand a single word. I asked him, uh, how you know this language? Imam said, took a small stone and read something on it and then put him in his sacred mouth and then give it to me and said, put this in your mouth. Abu Hashim says, I put that small stone in my mouth and all of a sudden I felt that I know 72 languages and on the top was Hindi. So there Imam al -Salam is showing that we have this power from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we can speak every language and with, we have miracles. With these miracles and karamat, if we recite something or put a stone in our mouth and we give it to others, they can also have the knowledge, the knowledge can transfer to them. We can transfer the knowledge to others. Another example will be, narrator says, I and my father had a difference of opinion about the four days in the year in which it is highly recommended to fast. There are four days in the Islamic calendar in a year, Islamic year, where the fasting is highly and highly recommended. Says, we couldn't reach to the conclusion and said, okay, let's go to Imam al-Salam and ask him. We went to the house of Imam al-Salam. Before we say anything, Imam said, I know why you are here. He said, Ya Allah Rasulullah, O son of the Holy Prophet, please guide us. We are here and you know why we are here. Imam said, well, the four days in which it is highly recommended to fast, are as follows and then Imam says the first one is the 17th of Rabi'ul Awwal the day in which the Holy Prophet peace be upon him was born the second day in which it is highly recommended to fast is the 27th of Rajab Idul Mab'as the day in which the Holy Prophet was sent and the prophetic mission started when he was told, this is called Be'asat. Now it is coming in this holy month of Rajab, 27th of Rajab, Eid al When the Holy Prophet started his prophetic mission. And the third is the 25th of Zul Qa'da, Dahwul Arz, when Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala spread earth on the planet. And then the fourth one is the 18th of Zul Hijjah. Eid al Ghadir, the day in which Amir al Mu'mineen was appointed and the announcement, announcement was made about his wilaya, Eid al Wilaya, Eid al al Akbar. Now, this is Imam, this is Imamat, the most knowledgeable, and for this. Imam Ali Naki Al Hadi Al Salam has given us a very, a very big gift, hadiyah.
And this hadiyah is in the form of ziyara al jamiatul kabira Sallu ala Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. The second gift and document and ziyarat which we have from Imam al salam is called Ziyaratul Ghadir. It is about Ghadir. Many people may not be aware about this Ziyarat, but this is mentioned in the books of Ziyarat. I read this in uh, Bihar of Alama Majlisi, and it is also in other books of Dua. Now this Ziyarat is when Imam Al salam was brought from Medina to Samira, and when they reach Najaf. Now Samira is towards the north of Baghdad. And first they reach Najaf. And there they stayed, they had a stop there. So Imam Al salam asked those people who were with him, those who were uh, army of the Abbasid Caliph, that can you permit me to go and do the ziyarat of my grandfather? They said yes. You can go and do the ziyarat of your grandfather, Amirul Mu'minin Salam. So Imam Al Salam went to the harem of Amirul Mu'minin Salam with his friends and with other people, and he decided this ziyara there, and that was the day of 18th of Zulhij, the day of the Vilayat Eidul Vilayat, the day of Eidul Ghadir, and Imam Al Salam recited a lengthy ziyarat and this ziyarat the importance of this ziyarat is that imam al -Islam mentioned the verses of the holy quran about the commander of faithful some people uh, say or they think that where imam al -Islam is mentioned in quran well here recite the ziyarat of ziyarat al ghadir and see imam al -Islam has mentioned more than 20 verses of quran and a hadith of the holy prophet about the commander of faithful. This is a document which we have. Here Imam al salam says, Assalamu ala Muhammad Rasulillah. He starts with salutations on the Holy Prophet. Khatam in Nabiyin, the one who had whose seal of the prophets was Sayyidul Mursaleen and leader of all the messengers and then he said assalamu alayka ya amir al mu'minin wa sayyid al waseen o commander of the faithful o leader of the waseen wasi is the those who are the successors successor of the prophet you are the leader of all the successors of the prophets and then imam al salam says assalamu alayka ya deen allah al qawim wa siratuhu al mustaqim O oh, Ali, Ya Amirul Mu'mineen, Jaddi, O oh, my grandfather, you are Siratul Mustaqeem, you are the straight path. Now what we recite in uh, Surah Al-Fatiha, in Surah Al-Fatiha we say, Ihdina Siratul Mustaqeem, O oh, Allah, keep us guided on the correct and the straight path. Imam says Siratul Mustaqeem is Amirul Mu'minin Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salatu He is Sirat al-Mustaqim. And then he says, As-salamu alayka ayyuhan naba'i al-azim. There is surah in Quran, we say the surah naba'a. Oh, Amirul Mu'min, you are naba'u al-azim. Naba means uh, message, khabar. And Imam alayhi salam now, this ziyarat is very beautiful ziyarat. It is very lengthy. My time is running. I will just recite few verses and then I will go to the last part, which is the Masai part of Imam Ali Naki salam. Imam says, فَأَنزَلَ اللَّهُ فِيكُمْ My grandfather, commander of faithful, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has revealed about you in the Holy Quran. In the La Hestara, Minel Mominina, and Fosahom, Wa Amwalahom, Be Anna Lahomul Janna. When you slept in the bed of the Holy Prophet on the night of 
uh, hijrat, migration. This verse was revealed. There are people from whom Allah has bought their souls and Allah gave them Jannah, paradise in the place of buying the souls of those individuals. And you, Amir al muminin you are the one who has shown such a sacrifice that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has bought your soul and for you is paradise. And then the words of the Quran where it says, وَإِنَّ هَذَا سِرَاتِ مُسْتَقِيمًا فَتَّبِعُوهُ This is my straight path. O oh, people, follow that. O oh, Ali, you are Sirati Mustaqim. Allah has given order to the whole humanity to follow you. And then Quran says, Hal yastabillazina ya'lamun wa lazina la ya'lamun. Are those who are knowledgeable and those who has less knowledge, are they same? No. Those who have more knowledge, their merits are more. O oh, Amir al you are the most knowledgeable person of your time after the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him. So the people are not same, are not like you. The people can't be like you. Unfortunately, some people uh, comp uh, compare Muawiyah with Amir al This is haram, this comparison is haram. There is no comparison. And then Quran says, Fazal al Mujahideen al al Qaidin ajran azima. Those people who are doing jihad and those people who are sitting, those who are standing and doing jihad in the way of Allah, their merits are more, far more than those who are not doing jihad. O oh, Ali, you are the one who did jihad. You were the one who was throughout your life busy in fighting in the way of Allah. This verse is about you. Quran says, Aj'altum sikayatul hajj wa imaratul masjid al-haram. You are sikayatul hajj. You are the one who were giving water to the hujjaj. Quran says, Ya ayyuhar rasul balligh ma unzila ilayka min rabbik. This verse is about you. O oh, Amir al muminin the Holy Prophet was told, Fa'inlam taf'al fama balakhta risalat. If you will not give this message, if you will not deliver the message, it is as you have done nothing. ziyarat ghadir from Imam Al-Yunaki alayhi salatu wa salam. Imam alayhi salam was poisoned. Mu'at says, gave him poison because he was thinking and he was jealous. He was thinking that Imam is gathering weapons. They would search the house of Imam but they will find nothing. All they found in the house of Imam was Quran and the books of Dua and the prayer mat on which Imam was praying. When Imam al -Salam was poisoned, with him was his sons. With him was Imam Hassan Askari al -Salam. With him was his son Sayyid Hussain. His elder son Sayyid Muhammad died in the lifetime, lifetime of Imam al -Salam, whose harem is in Balad. When you are going to Samira, then the Balak comes where, Imam, where the son of Imam Sayyid Muhammad was buried. Imam al -Salam was given ghusl and kafan by Imam Hassan Askari al -Salam. He was buried in his house. Assalamu alaikum ya Aba Abdullah al Hussein. La yawma ka yawmi ka ya Aba Abdullah. Imam Ali Naki alayhi salam was martyred, but he was given husl by his son. But the sacred body of Imam Hussain alayhi salam was lying on the plains of Karbala. Imam Zainul Abidin alayhi salam was there, but 
but he was not allowed to give ghusl and kafan to Imam Hussein the kafan of Imam Hussein was the desert in which the plains of Karbala the sacred body was lying sand were coming on the sacred body that was the kafan the sands of the desert of Karbala was the kafan of Imam Hussain and then Tayyul Arv with Mu'jaza Imam Zainul Abidin came from the prison of Kufa to, to bury the sacred bodies of Shohada and the sacred body of Imam Hussain there were people who were around the desert of Karbala who were called the tribe of Bani Asad. They wanted to give burial to Imam Hussain but how can they do that? Because the sacred heads were not there. Imam Zainul Abidin told them, come and help me. I know who these bodies are. Although the sacred heads are not there, but I know them. With the help of the tribe of Bani Asad, Imam Zainul Abidin gave burial to Imam Hussain and to other shahada of Karbala. And he told him there is one sacred body lying on the other side of Urat. That is the body of my uncle Abbas. Help me to give burial to Hazrat Abbas. They helped them. Imam Zainul Abidin went inside the grave and put the sacred body of Hazrat Abbas salam, in the grave. And then his, he put his head on the chest of Abbas salam, and said, Uncle Abbas, when you went to Furat to take, to bring water, you know what happened after that? Uncle Abbas, when you went there, you were martyred. After you, my father Hussein was killed. His sacred head was cut from his sacred body and it was laid on the spear. Uncle Abbas, we were taken as prisoners from one place to another. We were taken to Kufa. From Kufa, we are taken to Sham. That is the time when they were not taken to Sham. But this is called Zabani Hal. Zabani Hal means my heart says that Imam al -Salam would have told these things. But for sure, Imam salam was talking to his uncle Abbas salam. And Zabani Hal says that Imam salam was aware about from Kufa they will be taken to Sham. Inna lillah wa inna ilayhi rajiun. Wa sayalamu alladhina zalamu ala Muhammad ayyamun kalibin yan kalibun. Let's raise our hand for dua. Ilahi biha ki Fatima wa abiha wa baliha wa baniha wa sirin mustadi fiha. Those who are ill, those who are sick, they are waiting for our duas. This is the month of Rajab, the month of dua, the month of istighfar. Let's recite five times Amma Yuji for all those who are ill. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Amman yujibul mustarra iza da'ahu wa yakshifu su. 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 Allah give shifa kamil abal ajila to all those who are ill. Give us tawfiq to do the ziyarat of the Haram of Imam Ali Nakhi alayhi salam in Samir Rah. All on the Day of Judgment, give us the Shafaat of Alul Bayt alayhi salam. Oh Allah, we are sinners, forgive our sins. Shower your mercy on our marhumin. This is the month of Rajab al Murajab. Rajab al Asab, give us tawfiq to perform the amal in this month. Accept our du'as, accept our amal. Send Imam of Batayim, Imam al Hujjah alayhi salam, as soon as possible and count us among his followers and friends. Amin ya Rabbil Alameen wa anta al-Sami'u al-Aleem bihaki Muhammadin wa alihi tayyibin al-Tahirin Suratul Mubarakatul Fatiha kablaha salawat Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa alayhi 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 wa
الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا صراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين يا حسين يا حسين يا حسين عزيز كيا غضب آيا نکی جگ سے اٹھا افسوس عزیز و کیا غضب آیا نکی جگ سے اٹھا افسوس شہنشاہ دو عالم وہ اٹھا جگ سے ہزار افسوس نبی مرقد میں روتے ہیں علی جنت سے آئے ہیں نبی مرقد میں روتے ہیں علی جنت سے آئے ہیں کھلے سر فاطمہ پوتے کو رونے کے یہاں پہ آئی ہے عزیز و کیا غضب آیا نقی جگ سے اٹھا افسوس کرو ماتم سبی مل کے قیامت ہوئی عزاداروں کرو ماتم سبی مل کے قیامت ہوئی عزاداروں دیا ظالم نے ہے زہر شہ کو اے عزادارو عزیز و کیا غضب آیا نقی جگ سے اٹھا افسوس یوں رو رو اس کری لاشے پیدر پہ کہتے ہیں ہر بات یوں رو رو اس کری لاشے پیدر پہ کہتے ہیں ہر بات ہوا بن باپ کا افسوس کروں کیا میں جگر افغار عزیز و کیا غضب آیا نقی جگ سے اٹھا افسوس میرا بابا میرا بابا یہ کیسی نیند میں سوئے میرا بابا میرے بابا یہ کیسی نیند میں سوئے میں روتا ہوں کھڑا یہاں پہ تسلی اٹھ کے دے دیجے عزیز و کیا غضب آیا نکی جگ سے اٹھا افسوس شہنشاہ دعا لم وہ اٹھا جگ سے ہزار افسوس حمد و آل محمد صلوات اللہ صلی علی محمد و آل محمد و عجیب فرجم السلام علیہ کا یا رسول اللہ یا حبیب اللہ یا نبی اللہ السلام علیہ کا یا امیر المؤمنین یا علی ابن ابی طالب یا مرتضی السلام علیہ کا یا فاطمہ بنت رسول اللہ یا قرت عین رسول سیدت نساء العالمین السلام علیہ کا خدیجہ القبرا ام المؤمنین السلام علیہ کا حسن مجتبہ السلام علیہ کا حسین شہید کربلا سید شباب اہل جنہ السلام علیہ کا علی ابن حسین سجاد زین العابدین السلام علیہ کا اولاد الحسین وصاب الحسین السلام علیہ کا شہداء کربلا واسران کربلا السلام علیہ کا سید زین و غازی عباس السلام علیکم رحمت اللہ وبرکات السلام علیہ کا محمد الباقر السلام علیہ کا جعفر الصادق السلام علیہ کا موسیٰ القادم السلام علیہ کا علی اللہ 
Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum ya Ali Naqi. Assalamualaikum ya Hasan Al Askari. Assalamualaikum ya Maulana ya Sahib Al Asy wa Zaman. Alaman wa Alaman wa Alaman. Assalamualaikum ya Imam Al Inti wa Al Jan. Assalamualaikum ya Kaabat Al Iman. Ajlahu ta'ala farajak wa sahna lahu makhrajak wa zuhurak. Assalamualaikum ya Ahl Bayt Al Nubuwa. Jamian wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allahumma kulli waliyaka al hujjat ibn al Hasan. صلواتك عليه وعلى آبائي في هذه الساعة وفي كل ساعة وليا وحافظا وقائدا وناصرا ودليلا وعينا حتى تسكنه أرضك طوعا وتمتعه فيها طويلا برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم صل على محمد